So now that we have our surface, we need to uh, essentially convert what we have here into a format that's useful for uh, spatial analysis. And basically what we're trying to do is um, get the acreages or the areas of our various uh, habitat ranges are based on our inundation frequencies. So in order to do that, we need to query the surface uh, based on those ranges. So we'll have a percentage and we'll ask the surface to give us back uh, different ranges. So again, we've got our model here and we've got our ranges of frequency based on this curve. And so we'll have, we're actually gonna combine eel grass and unvegetated shallow. So we've got uh, one here, which we'll basically call open water, mud flat, low salt marsh, middle salt marsh, high salt marsh, and upland. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six different habitat types. So we'll go back to ArcGIS. And the first thing we're going to do, we'll open up uh, our toolbox here. Okay, so we have our toolbox up and we're going to go down to spatial analyst tools and map algebra and raster calculator. So this is going to bring up the expression box, which basically allows us to enter um, what we're going to query and what we're looking for specifically. So um, this is the surface that we're querying. This is what we're looking at right here. Move this over. This is our surface. So we'll start with the uh, we'll start with the first one. Uh, we'll do our open water our open water uh, uh, range, which is basically um, based on our model. It's anything greater than uh, we'll say about seventy six percent inundation. So we'll just click on that. It brings it up here in the expression. And we'll do we'll actually do greater than or equal to, and then we're going to say 76%, and it's done in decimals, so it's divided by 100. So we'll do 0.76, and this is a default output. So you can enter whatever you want here, but just make sure you know how to navigate to it in case something were to happen, you need to reopen it. So we'll call this um, call this open water calc. And got an error here. Just rename it. So this usually takes a second, but the return on this will be. Um, anything that's greater than 76%. So what we're going to hope for is that this uh, comes out as the the open water, which is uh, what looks like to be red here. And sometimes these uh, queries take a little while, especially um, with the larger data sets. So I won't go through every habitat type, but I'm going to um, show you how to do do one, and then um, we can extrapolate those to the other uh, the other habitat types. So right here we've got our green. You can see it over here, open water calc. So zero means does not fit in with our expression greater than seventy, greater than or equal to seventy six percent, and the green means it does. So as we hoped, uh, this is going to correlate with that that high value, the red here. So that's our open water question is, this is still a raster, so how do we get this into a format, shapefile format, so we can can get some uh, answers on uh, sizes and acreages. So what we'll do is, I'm going to right click on our calc raster, I'm going to open attribute table, and there's only two here, the one and a two, or sorry, a zero and a one value. Going back, the one was the one the value that we were looking for. See, one, that's green. So we're going to select that. Basically, it's going to pull that out of that data set when we need it. So there we go. That means selected. 
that uh, bright blue color. So now that we've selected that, we want to convert it. We're going to convert it to a shape file. We're going to do this for each habitat type. So again, we're in Arc Toolbox. I'm going to go under Conversion Tools here, and we're going to go from Raster. We want to we want a shape file. We're looking for a polygon. So we're going to do Raster to Polygon. So our input raster for this one is going to be open water calc. The uh, the first surface didn't show up, but but we want to make sure that we're we're using the one that we just selected because that's where the data is going to be pulled from. We want it based on value because again that's what we selected. That's zero and one. And this is the default again. I'm going to rename this. And this is going to output as a shapefile. Simplify polygons. Uh, in this case, because of the the amount of data and the interpolation, I'm going to leave that on. And we'll hit OK. And this is another one that takes a few seconds. That was pretty quick. So that's a shape file. We've got our first shape file here. That's our open water. And it's overlaid with the uh, raster raster file. So that's the first one. Uh, I'm going to do one more just because uh, that was, that expression was fairly simple with just a greater than. Uh, if you've got to do a greater than or less than, I want to make sure that um, I show you how to do that. Um, so you don't run into any problems. So for the next one, we're going to build an expression that uses a greater than and a less than. It's a little bit more complex, but um, I want to make sure that uh, I, I demonstrate this because it can be it can be tricky and it causes the uh, expression to fail. So for this one, we're going to do the next um, habitat type, which is the mud flat, and that is with greater than 48% and less than 76% inundation. So. We'll go back to uh, our spatial analyst tools, and we'll go back to uh, map algebra raster calculator. And for this one, we're going to start with the parentheses, and we'll select our layer, and we'll do greater than or equal to 48%, so 0.48. We'll close that out. So that's the first part of the expression, and we're also going to add an AND. This is for the less than, don't forget the parentheses, less than 76%.76. Don't forget to close that out. And we'll just leave the default name. Let's just take a second. Let's so select our mud flat. So just like the last one, again, remember the colors are arbitrary. Um, what we're looking for are the numbers. And zero are the values that don't fit in our expression, and the value one are the ones that do. So that's our mud flat; is the purple area. Um, but this is still in a raster. So what we're going to do now is we've got to select the values from the raster. So value one, we're going to select that and just click the bottom left-hand box there, the row that it's in. And so the bright blue are the mudflat values. So the next step is to convert it to a polygon, the shape file. So we're under conversion tools, from raster, raster to polygon, and pick the remember to pick the, the raster that you're you're looking to convert. You want to keep this as value because that's what we're looking at. And we'll call this mudflat advised and this will pull out and convert uh, the raster values into a polygon Let's just take a second and there we go so this kind of beige color is our shape file for the mud flat so we can go back and delete our calc raster and we'll just uncheck this so you get an idea where this is going. And you can see the shape file being built. We'll eventually merge all these layers together. Um, so I showed you the first two habitats, and I'm going to go ahead and add the rest because uh, it's all a similar process to the first two. Uh, I showed you how to build an expression, a simple expression of greater than, and then a greater than or less than. So right now we've got open water, we've got mud flat, 
and we'll go ahead and add the high salt marsh, low salt marsh, mid salt marsh, and upland. So those are all of our habitats. So add those, and there we go. So that's our, when we merge these, it'll be our, our one shape file that we can analyze for space.